Hello guys, it's me, Bulgaria003, and these are the three models that I have. So this one, here in the middle, is the one I got yesterday from the airplane shop in Las Vegas. This one, I made a video about it a couple months ago, I got it off of Amazon. This one I also got off of Amazon, but I forgot to make a video about it, so really sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so here I'm going to talk about these three models. I already made a video about this one yesterday. This one is my least favorite because it has this problem like where it just at the most random times just does that. And like this piece in the back keeps on falling off. So I'm gonna have to fix that with glue. Oh, all right. And I'm gonna have to fix that with glue. This is my second favorite model. It's not my first favorite because my first favorite is obviously the C-17. Okay, I'm still trying to fix this Avro jet. You know what, it's fine. I'll fix it with glue later. But yeah, so this is my second favorite model. It looks really nice. Super realistic with the Boeing 707's features like the, like this thing on the tail and the, and the engines. Like, these engines uh, look really interesting. Like, the engines on the old planes, like the old jet engines, were re looked really interesting. And it's Egypt Air 707. It was, it's a really interesting plane, the 707. It's been around for a long time, but now it's already retiring. The only 707s that are still flying around are, like, the military tankers and stuff. I might get one of those, too, for my collection. But here's the best model of them all. The C-17 Globemaster with those flap tracks and those engines. And this thing also has a lot of landing gear. Like I've also like I've been inside of a C-17 before and on the outside, uh, like I went into the landing gear to see what it was like inside the landing gear of the C-17. And this is exactly what I saw. Like the six uh, wheels on one side and then six wheels on the other side, like six wheels on one side right here and then yeah and then i also saw the nose gear looking like this yeah that's how the nose gear is on the real c17 and then in the back there and then in the back you know when i went to the long beach air show where they had a c17 on display they had the rear door open and then people were walking in through the rear door to get inside of the c17 and uh, just so you know, it was not this specific type of C-17 because this one is from Papa, but the one that was at the air show was from U.S. Air Force because, of course, I live in the U.S. So, yeah, I had the cargo door open feature. I could actually see stuff from back here, what's inside, but I don't think you guys could because, well, yeah, it's um, it's quite dark in there on the camera, but... I could see stuff in there in person, but all right. So those are my three models. And also I know this model airport looks absolutely horrible. This runway with flaps up here and should probably put clear duct tape on this. So this doesn't happen and this doesn't happen. Like the models landing gears go through there. And also I know the colors of the terminal and the control tower look like the cockpit of a Russian plane. But yeah, it's fine. So I'm going to be making a military base. I'm gonna put the civilian models off to the side and start collecting more military models. Like I will get a C5, maybe some Russian planes, like maybe an Il-76 or an Antonov-225 or an Antonov-124. But for now I got a C-17 and it's my favorite type of plane. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next one, bye.